You don't negotiate with a zombie. You can't talk a zombie out of wanting to eat you. You can't say, hey, go around the corner, there's a family of five getting in a Winnebago. Like, you can eat all five of them. Zombies are definitely part of mainstream culture now. I mean, there can hardly be anybody left who hasn't seen a zombie movie by now. Kill the brain, kill the brain. The first zombie walk was amazing. You're just walking through the streets and people would look out their window and like close their curtains. I've been to Mexico City and 5,000 zombies showed up. And I can't get any of these people to answer the basic question of why do you do it? Well, you can't celebrate life without celebrating death. Ladies and gentlemen, we are receiving news that the bodies of the recently deceased are returning to life and attacking the living. Police were forced to open fire on a naked man who refused to stop chewing the face off of another man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Moak from the Zombie Research Society. I suggest you find the tallest building in your town and jump off. Grab something heavy, something that you can hit very hard with, and let's party! We're here in Santa Ana, California at A Plus Revival where owner Richard Gates opened the store in 2007 in order to prepare the community in case of impending disasters. Make the choice now whether you're going to be prepped to live or prepped to die. What if they're fast? If they're fast, you could spend upwards of $10,000. Okay, so you're fucked if, you're, if they're fast. If, you, if, yeah, you're fucked. The gruesome face-eating attack in Miami could be part of a trend. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Hey, this guy's giving away spoilers. <laughs> Shut up, zombie hooker. I'm trying to watch this movie. I'm gonna throw these pizza rolls after you, fucking bitch. <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh, fuck!